What's up, world? It's your girl, Shawnee. Welcome to the second episode of the third season of the Speak Life Nation show where your dreams were made to exist. Now, you know we are here to highlight upcoming professionals, entrepreneurs, creators, people doing positive stuff in the city and hopes to inspire you to follow your dreams. Listen, if you're hesitant to follow your dreams, hesitant to walk in your purpose, stay tuned because you know we dropping dreams. We dropping gems all night long you hear me whether that's day whether that's night whatever anyways we're gonna keep this thing moving i am super excited to have a special guest with me and um i know y'all probably been seeing him because he do a lot of hollywood stuff he travels <laughs> and, and he takes interviews and I mean, if you ain't tapped in, then you really, really missing out on the boy Lamont Smith, a.k.a. Credit Guy Milwaukee. What's going down? What's going down, Shawnee? How you uh, doing? I'm doing good. It's so good to see you first and foremost. <laughs> As always, you know what it is. Yeah, it's always good to see you. So, um, backstory, listen, this my boy. <laughs> That's just it. Point blank in the period, this my boy. Like, we used to work together. And, um, I mean, man, it was just always a great vibe once we connected. But you remember the beginning? <laughs> yeah, the beginning. I didn't talk. Nothing. Everybody's speaking. I don't say nothing. <laughs> he walk in with his glasses. He don't see nothing. <laughs> and one day we broke the ice, which is something we need to start doing in our city, just yeah, breaking the ice. Breaking the you know ice. what I mean? You never know how cool a person is or... You know how important a person can be to your life if you don't open up your mouth just to try to get that connection going. So thank right. you for being my friend. You know what it is. <laughs> so anywho, we're gonna get things started. Um, like I said, Credit Guy MKE, he's doing a lot of things in the city, not just with personal credit. We're talking business credit, we're talking trade lines. It's just all about leveling up. So I'm excited to introduce to y'all him. And I would like for him to let y'all know, listen, what is what is the name of your business again? And what is your overall mission? Just credit, huh? Yeah. Or, or whatever. Yeah. So um, I actually own a cleaning service that do $230,000 a year. Okay. Um, with a couple partners. Um, of course, credit, right? Personal credit, business credit, trade lines, uh, coaching. Um, I got a couple books, right? Nice. Um, so my overall mission when it comes to credit it's to really pour into the city. And we speaking to Milwaukee, right? Mm -hmm. We're not. speaking to the world. Yeah, because you're going to go global. <laughs> that part. We got to put our city on, right? <laughs> <clears throat> so my biggest thing is teaching our people, right, the importance of financial literacy, mm -hmm. right? Because if I can teach you, you can teach somebody else, and it can go on and on, right? Yeah. Um, so that's all I want to do is teach people financial literacy, how important credit is to uh, generational wealth, Right, how important for your yes. personal credit is is the foundation for your business to go to the next level. Yeah, and a lot of times we want to start at point Z, but we ain't even finished A, B, C, and Facts. D. You get Facts. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to be patient, right, and put that foundation in place in order to win. Yeah, yeah, and we need so many more people like you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially in the black community, because. When we look at, I say this all the time, looking at other cultures and other yeah. nationalities, yes, man, they they figuring yes, it out. They they got it. Not you know? only did they figure it out, they been doing it. They been doing so it. So we just getting on the bus. So let's accelerate that, right? Uh -huh. And I'm speaking to Milwaukee. Let's accelerate, um, not so much of being like them, but adopting their principles and things that they do mm -hmm. to take our city to the next level, man. Yeah. Because it's possible. I think yeah. we don't know that. We don't know. It's possible. Like, we look we at other know. other cities, and, and we may say, well, they got this, and they got more opportunities, and they got that. Right. No, it didn't start off like that. It didn't start off like <laughs> that. It, didn't, it did not start off like that. It I'm, just, it was a culture. It I'm was a culture you, that they built. I, I, I took a trip uh, with, with Cam, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the money coach, my business partner. Shout out, Cam. And we went somewhere, uh, and that energy that they had, mm -hmm. it blew me away. I'm like, man, this is what I want at home. Yes. Everybody supporting each other. Mm -hmm. We all moving, yep. right? We all moving and everybody getting, getting money. Yep, absolutely. So with this, you spoke of generational wealth, with this, which is something that we really should focus on because it seems like even when black people get in a position where they have more than a typical black person, mm -hmm. you know, that wealth, it doesn't trans for generationally it's mm -hmm. like it stops right after that generation it's like what are some ways that we need to be conscious of ensuring that we're passing down generational wealth well life insurance mm -hmm. wills trust things like that 
and credit, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, if you got a, you know, you have kids. I think at 13, you can start putting them on your credit card. Mm -hmm. What you're doing, you're setting your kid up for success because the other race is doing it, right? Yeah. We're the only ones not doing it. We worry about us. Mm -hmm. So think think about if you, you know, if you pass, God forbid you pass, you don't have no insurance. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's a burden, man. Yeah. Position yourself to not be a burden. That's what's up. That's what's up. So how long have you been on your journey? And since you've been on your journey, what would you say has been the best part for you? How long I've been on the journey? It's, I actually was doing it. I got married in 2012, so it's about 2010, mm -hmm. something like that, but not as heavy because you know I don't like attention, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't even want to. So just family, little close friends and things like that. Mm -hmm. But my wife got tired of me using all the paper and ink. She said, hey, man, you need to figure this out and start charging people. Um, and then I had some amazing guys come into my life and just teach me principles and things like that, mm -hmm. um, which prompted me to start a business and start doing it. Um, and the biggest challenge or biggest? No, no, like the best part for you. The best part for me is just seeing them numbers move, seeing women, single women, uh, get a home for their kids like they cry, right? Yeah. When their credit score get to 720, you know, they excited and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that excites me. That keeps me going. Even though you have those ones, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I understand there's a lot more people like that than, you know, yeah. the, the latter. So, what would you kind of say maybe is the biggest barrier between somebody knowing that they have bad credit and actually getting it fixed? It's in, uh, people feel embarrassed. Mm. In, I always tell people, bad credit isn't embarrassing. It's embarrassing not to fix it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We all struggle in some area, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if we don't take the initiative to try to fix it, like we're still sitting in our mess. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely uh, being embarrassed. Yeah. Definitely being embarrassed. Yeah. So along your journey, what would you say has been like one of your biggest hurdles and how you overcome it? Communication. Mm. I, you know, <laughs> I, I, uh, for, for me, this is a vulnerable moment. Okay. <laughs> for me, like I always had a speech impediment. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And growing, growing up, I never, I never talked because every time I talk, my family would be like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. So what does that do to a kid, right? Mm -hmm. That must up their psyche, their confidence, and things like that. So I just stopped, you know. I read a lot of books and things like that, but I stopped talking. Mm -hmm. So when I got older, um, I never wanted to communicate with people and things like that. But like I said, I surrounded myself with people to push me. Yeah. Um, like yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. And other individuals to push me. Like, well, my, you have so much in you to get the people, bro. Yeah. Like, give it to the people. Yeah. Right? So communication was, was was the biggest thing for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny that you say that because we would never know. We would never know yeah. that that was an issue, uh, especially just hearing you talk. It don't yeah. sound like it could have ever been an issue yeah, for but, you. But you know? when, when you think, like, of my son, my youngest son, he used to stutter, mm -hmm. right? I think <laughs> that's one of the things I didn't want my kids to do because of what I went through. Mm -hmm. But I think he was going through it for me to give him what I didn't get. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Um, so he, I, I remember he doing, he was doing it at the dinner table, and the other kids was making fun of yeah. him, and I heard it. Yeah. I said, man, the next one of y'all make fun of my son, I'm knocking y'all teeth out. <laughs> you know knocking saying? kids teeth out. Because listen, <laughs> listen, listen, that would mess a kid yeah. up, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do I do as his dad? I understand what I've been through, I'm not going to let him go through, right? Yeah. So I'm like, hey, buddy, just talk, talk slower. Take your time. It's no rush. Yeah. Right? Um, so that's... Uh, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's like, uh, you know, you never know You never know a person's struggle, but communication is so big, Man, you so know? Big. Like we, I mean, we can't so get big. anywhere. Without that. Right? <laughs> we can't get Listen, anywhere. <laughs> every time, like, I always try to put people in front of me to do stuff like this. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. man, I'm not mm -hmm. doing this, right? Yeah. But I always put people in front of me to do stuff. Okay, this is what I want you to say. This yeah. Is, right? Yeah. But... Now it's that time, like, nah, man, go ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got okay. it, for sure. And I think it's beautiful. I just enjoy seeing your um, evolution at the end of the day, yeah. just seeing you seeing you evolve, although, like, we're nowhere, nowhere. Near where God wants to be. Okay. Let's, say, let's not even play around. <laughs> I know nowhere. I you know what I'm and it's just beautiful just to see it happen, though, to see it unfold. Yeah. So I think that's dope. Um, let's say somebody out there, they listen and they watching and they're hesitant to follow in their dreams. They're hesitant to walk in in their purpose. What type of advice would you give them? I would say, uh, to be honest, talk to God first. 
because that's the direction, right? He's going to lead you where you want to be. Like, without him, you know, if he ain't in the center of it, it ain't going to work. That part. At least to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would do do that. Um, and just really figure out what your passion is. Yeah. Right? See, me, I thought I wanted to be a correctional officer all my life, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a police officer, right? And things like that. But that wasn't what God had for me. But mm -hmm. I went to school and spent eighty some thousand dollars on a um on a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Over some all I had to do was speak to him <laughs> and figure out where he wanted me to go. <laughs> yeah. I would have been here. Yeah. I would have you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hope that answers your question. No, it really does. Uh, it's a beautiful answer, too, because that's really it. Some people don't get that. I think yeah. business businesses are different when you actually yeah. seek God first, because you know? It's a lot of business. So think about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to do credit. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Right? <laughs> so they start in there, and they don't even know what to do when it come back. Like, it's yours. It's uh -huh. verified. Uh -huh. It's yours. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? A lot of people don't even know that. Mm-hmm. Right? A lot of people want to be in real estate and things like that. But you get in it, you spend all this money, you may go in debt and things, and um, you didn't seek God first. Right. Because that's that, that's you know that's why you're there. Yeah. So we think things don't work. You know, it don't work because you didn't seek God first. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy because um, me starting my business, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what made you start a magazine? God made me start a magazine. <laughs> I didn't I didn't wake up growing up, you know, I wasn't like, "Oh, I want to start a magazine one day." No, it was me going through an incident of being robbed and shot and understanding that we need a change in our city and understanding we need to start looking at our city in a different way. Understanding we need to literally see our city in a different light. You know what I'm saying? So, what speak life all the way around the board is literally being a lens. A lens for the city to be able to say, hey, it's not just so, negativity here. So who don't want to get behind that? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, right. who don't want to get beside, be behind someone that's doing something positive for the city? Yeah. You know what and I mean? it's not about me. It it's not about, about, it's about everybody. It's about us. <laughs> if it's we all us. win, it's less hating to me. So that's how I operate. If I'm eating... And I teach you to eat. Yeah. Right? You can't hate on me where you shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, yeah. And, it, and it's sad when people do. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, people feel intimidated by other people's growth. You know what I mean? Yeah, or you just don't want to see the next person win. You want them to, to go through all the little yeah. trenches and stuff like that. But because why not? Why not Why not plant a seed and get a blessing from because that? Because we all chasing money. <laughs> we ain't chasing God. Yeah. I got to tell people, I'm going to get the bag because God going to give it to uh -huh. me. Because I do right by his people. Yeah. Right by people. Yeah, right? yeah. That's simple. Yeah, and and some people can't stand the rain. That's just the best way it came out. Mm -hmm. You can't stand the rain. You can't stand the gro the drought season. You mm -hmm. can't stand when it's when money is not in the picture. picture. You know what, what I'm saying? Do you do? But can you trust God when you don't see any fruit? Yeah. All, all yeah. you doing is been planting Listen. seeds. All you've been doing is 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 uh helping people Listen. out. You literally been operating in your purpose and you don't see any fruit. Can you trust God when you know you hear his voice, but you don't see any fruit? No, they, they a, lot of, a lot of people it. say, yeah, but man, listen, <laughs> I done been down. You know what I mean? I done been 1075 that hour. So whoever, Come on. if you making 1075, I've been there. I know how hard it is. Listen. Really? With four kids and a wife. And a thousand fifty dollars for rent. Come on, you know what I mean. With uh, sixty five cent left in your bank account after mm -hmm. child support, right? Mm -hmm. You got that, right? So what do you do for them two weeks? What do you do? You gotta depend on him. Yep. What you, you got to? Yep. Yeah. I'm like, man, I gotta figure this out. It's a different ball game, and faith is a different ball mm -hmm. game. You know, we ain't talking just, uh, uh, you know, just typical businesses needs you know assessing and all that no no we're talking about real life. real life yeah. faith right gotta get there you gotta get there, gotta man. have it gotta have man. it Listen. so what's a person that or person or organization mm -hmm. one person or organization that you would like to collaborate with that you haven't had the opportunity to um the milwaukee bucks mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um just the name itself and what they mean to the city. Yeah. That's what I want Credit Guy MKE to mean to the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I want to connect with them mm -hmm. um, on some community things and mm -hmm. uh, try to get things going. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So. And I believe it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I, I, oh, yeah. I believe, and I believe it can happen quick too. Yeah. It can oh, happen yeah. real quick. Real you know, quick. Um, obedience is something. Yeah. Yeah. Ob obedience is something. You know, it opens up doors. You know, somebody told me one time, um, 
you know, sometimes people think it takes money to get at the, the table or sometimes it takes popularity to get at the table. Sometimes it takes favor. <laughs> it, it takes favor. Sometimes it takes favor. And effort because from, from my God um, blesses effort and obedience. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're going to obey, but you ain't going to go and put forth the effort uh, to go get what you say you want, yeah. that you praying about, yeah. if you ain't putting forth no effort, you ain't going to get it. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I want to take a second. I just want to take a second to do a shout out, a business shout out. Listen, we're doing something new. It's called It's My Brand Business Shout Out. Now, the brand that I'm shouting out is my own. Okay. This is me and my business partner. It's called Something Different, The New Culture. Now, uh, we know that our city needs something different, literally. Like, we need a different feel. We need a different uh, culture, literally, for the city. So, we're coming and we're bringing all kind of events. We got a lot of stuff lined up that we ain't really released quite yet. But just be looking out for something different. SD, look out for the hookah and hookup event we got coming up uh, February 12th. Yeah, this is going to drop this week. So, February 12th, make sure y'all be there. Uh, 7317 North Tatonia Avenue from 6 until, listen, if you can come with a couple, you can come as a couple, you can come single, in love, self-love, whatever it is, but just come and see us, come catch these vibes because we got to build a culture in this city that, that's worth something. Yes, yes. That's worth something. So I just had you. to do that. I had to do that business shout out. So I just got a couple questions right. for you, love. I like that. Thank you. Thank I you. Like I appreciate it. <laughs> so just a couple questions for you. Um, number one, what do you want the world to remember you as? Man, I think a, uh, a great dad. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. A great dad. You want to be a great dad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he is a great dad, so. That, that's a time. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Great dad don't just mean spending money. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. I can do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I had to learn how to take that time out and spend, yeah. you know, that time. You can't get that back. How many you kids know? you got? Well, it's four, but it's six all together. So six. Six, four. Yeah, two 22-year-olds. all together. Uh, two 13-year-olds. And um, my man, 16, and Gabe, eight. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, listen, we need more great fathers in the city. We need more great fathers, in, period. Period. Um, it's so funny. I, I mean, I, I respect that whole entire answer because, man, people don't realize how much a father really mm -hmm. means, you know? Like, and when you lack on the father tip, yeah. Yeah. it sucks. It, it sucks. really sucks. As, yeah. as a daughter, as a son, it sucks you're because. you're be seeking for that from other places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like games, right? Yeah. In a woman case, in, 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 in men yeah. that can buy them this or yeah. show them that attention. Yeah. You're going to be seeking for that. And longing for that because you didn't get that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's you that's see, that's opening up a whole nother conversation. Right. Right. <laughs> that's opening up. Talking about okay. <laughs> credit guy is more than just the credit guy. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> um, so my final question for you is what does speak life mean to you? Man, speak life is my friend, a brand, right? A global brand. That's where we going, right? Uh, with focus and dedication, uh, speak life will be known across the globe. That part, did you hear them? If you That's didn't hear them, you might need to rewind it back. Let them know where they can find you at, please. Hey, Facebook at Credit Guy MKE. Go follow uh, Instagram as well. Um, I got an ebook out, The Cheat Code, uh, Volume One, Two, Credit to Cash. It will teach you everything you need to do to get your credit to a seven hundred, seven twenty. And by you doing it yourself. You can teach your kids and your loved ones to break those generational curses. Let's go. Credit God. Thank you so much for yeah. joining me. Well. I love any time we connect. You know. Energy lit. It's going to stay lit. Yeah. And it's up there. And, and it's stuck it's there, stuck too. There. <laughs> it's stuck there. It's well, as you know, this was to inspire you. Anybody out there hesitant to follow in their dreams, hesitant to walk in your purpose, hesitant to just doing what you already know you called to do. Listen, just do it. If we can do, do it, it, you can do it. All right? Make sure y'all tune in. Love y'all so much. We over and we out. Till next time. Peace.